Okay. Ask Bill a question time. Anything you want to know, I'll answer it. Ready, set, go. Me? I'm driving. What would you like to ask me? Uh, it's like truth or dare, only there's no dare. No dare. Why are you so weird? Why am I so weird? <laughs> there's been many theories about why I'm so weird, but I think that the one that probably is most realistic is that I'm ADD and I'm just, I've never quite been, I don't think my brain is fully formed. Because they did an MRI and they said they didn't find anything, so um, it's causing me I, I had an MRI on my head. Yeah, I told them to do it when they were, when we were in the hospital that last time. I, I, had, a, I had an MRI on my head. I don't remember because I'm old now. CAT scan, whatever the hell it was. CAT scan? Yeah, I said, can you please do a CAT scan on his head? How do we get, how did we get on this when we're supposed to be like, this is Ask Bill a question time. Because you say you don't think your brain is all fully functioning or whatever. So. No, I don't have an explanation for why I'm so weird. Okay, next question. Uh, Truth or dare with no dare. Why do you feel the need to always have to buy some kind of vehicle or trailer or whatever? Um, She's hallucinating right now, folks. No, I'm that not. doesn't really happen. <laughs> Baloney. I have a Jeep. I'm happy with it. I got a truck. truck. I'm happy with it. And another Jeep. Well, I needed a trailer to and haul it trailer, with. But I had that before. Truck. I had the I had the trailer before I had the truck or the Jeep. So I don't know why she's complaining. You're a compulsive buyer. I have no defense. <laughs> I I do like to get things sometimes. Who drives the newest car in the family? Me, but who's had it the longest out of all the people? Well, that's because you bought it the newest. It don't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? It matters. But how many vehicles? Just a Jeep. Uh-oh. It's the cops. Oh, I got away with that one. Do you ever feel guilty when the cops drive by? Guilty of what? I'm not the one that gets speeding tickets and bullshit. I mean, I mean, don't you? If a, if a cop is following you, does it worry you in, in the least bit at all? Nope. Because I have Do, no does it bother you? To be. What if you're driving my Jeep or the truck? I won't be driving the Jeep or the truck. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We don't need to talk about that. It's still nice outside. Still easier to look up because you know that doesn't move up there. If you feel sick, if you get car sick, you look up. But anyway, back to question time. What would you like to know? Ask Bill anything. I'll even take my sunglasses off for this one. Tiny K. Moore, do you have a question for Bill? What is your burning question that I never answered that you need the answer to? Why is it when I, when I say I love you, you don't say it back? That is a good question. And I do that because I'm a dickhead. And I do love you, and you know that. When you say that, sometimes I know it's it's you want me to say it back, and I feel like if I do, I'm like a trained dog, and I like to show that I'm independent and strong-willed, yeah. so I don't say it back, but you should always know that I love you, just like my children know. What was that? You think I'm... You think that's gibberish? <laughs> You think I should just hop on demand? You say, I love you, and I should just say, I love you back, honey. Because when I say it, and if you don't, and then you go somewhere and something happens to me or something, you, you'd be sitting there going, oh, I wish I would I told her, her once her. that I loved her to the ends of the earth and back, and that if that ever changes, no, that's not nice. I'll let her know. Oh, oh, we got him through the sunroof. <laughs> How's that for video skills? Here comes more. How's 
that question for you. Was that satisfactory, Mrs. Moore? Well, do you have any other questions? If there's anything you could have done differently in your life, what would it have been? <laughs> That's a serious question. Basically asking me if I have any regrets, right? Pretty much. Do I have any regrets? the way I read my life. You know, I made a lot of mistakes with my children, with my relationships, with drugs and alcohol, with, with this woman over here. <laughs> She's part of my problem too, but you know, if, if I wouldn't have gotten together with my first wife, Chris, and, and you know, and, I, and I, re I regret in a way that my children had to grow up in a single parent household. And I, th I think that the, the one that suffered the most from that was my son Zachary because he didn't have the loving mother there to, because it's, it's, it's like that in families. The boys are always closer to mommy and the girls are always closer to daddy. So Megan and, and Jessica had me there all the time, but Zachary didn't have his loving mother. So, but you know, the thing is, if I wouldn't have gotten together with her or knew what kind of mom she was gonna be with the kids, then I wouldn't have my kids. So it's kind of a double-bladed sword and, and uh, I have to go with the fact that I don't have any regrets in my life. Nice. Nice. No, I'm being serious. That's... Well, and I, I truly do feel that way. And I, I feel like, you know, my son, Zach, I wish there was some way I could make that up to him. But what what can he do? You know, I... Tanya can't be his mother. <laughs> no, I'm only 12 years older than him. <laughs> yeah, that didn't quite... But I couldn't... I couldn't pick a, a new wife based on Zach's needs, could I? No. Well, I had to do it for myself, so. And, and Zachary's going to be a parent here soon. I told him on Facebook that his life was going to change. And he said, nah, I don't think so. He said, so. nah, I don't think so. Ha, 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 ha. I chuckled. I put in chuckle and that's it. You have yeah. no clue of what's about to hit you. <laughs> you are going to be responsible for a human life. You have to teach it everything. You have to love it. You have to nurture it. You have to teach it right from wrong. You have to instill values. And all those things that you got when you were growing up. And you have them in your life now. Like it or not, they're there, I know. So, how did this become about Zach? I don't know. Let's do a close-up of Tanya. Here's your ear. Oh my God. Stop. Okay. Let's be done. All right. Tanya says let's be done. So we're driving down the road. We're almost home. There's not much to look at out the sunroof. It's a stop sign. This is a good place to say goodbye. Uh, goodbye from Colorado. This no is more. this has been the Bill and Tanya show. Hasta la vista.